The Athens Bulldogs travel to take on the River Valley Raiders at home on Friday, February 9th. Athens defeated River Valley the first time they met this season, and both teams have been looking for this rematch all month long. The Bulldogs were without their starters Sam Trainer and Luke Mullins against River Valley, and they had to turn to some new faces to step up. Athens started the game with an entirely different starting lineup than they were used to, which featured younger players on their team like freshman Weston Wheatley. River Valley started off the game hot, and sophomore Brady Bennett scored 8 of the Raiders' 9 points in the first quarter. Athens played nice team basketball and were up 13-9 against River Valley after some nice scoring plays and a first quarter buzzer beating layup. The second quarter was a defensive slugfest, and both teams only scored 4 points. Athens and River Valley dabbled in the full court press all game, and their defensive adjustments kept their opponents on their heels. Leo Martin picked up 4 steals for the Bulldogs in this game, 3 of those coming from this quarter. Athens scored another buzzer beater to close out the second quarter, and they went into halftime with a 17-13 lead over the Raiders. Athens tried to pull away in the third quarter, but they were met by a strong River Valley resistance. The Bulldogs and Raiders continued to exchange baskets, and although there were times when Athens led by as much as 9 points, the Raiders kept their foot on the gas and continued to knock down threes. Athens led 28-23 over River Valley entering the fourth quarter, and a lot of that was in part to freshman Weston Wheatley's great game. Wheatley stepped up tonight for the Bulldogs, and he finished with 15 points and 4 rebounds in the absence of the team's seniors. The Bulldogs and Raiders continued to exchange jabs in the fourth quarter, and Leo Martin hit a crispy layup to give Athens a 9-point lead with 4.34 left in the game. Amidst the deficit, River Valley did not back down, and they rattled in back-to-back -back corner threes to bring the game within 4 points, with 2 minutes and 16 seconds left to play. The Raiders played excellent defense and shot the ball perfectly in the final 4 minutes of the game. They built up momentum throughout the 4th quarter, and they capitalized on it with a game-winning layup with 2 seconds left before the buzzer. River Valley defeated Athens 39-38 in the final seconds of the game, and fans and players were ecstatic to pull off this electric finale on senior night. Athens and River Valley have 1 week left of TVC play before playoffs begin, and they'll be looking ahead in the postseason with some nice momentum wins. For Hardwood Heroes, I'm Luke Schmidt, reminding you to be heroic.